For many 17 and 18 year olds entering college, communication is always key. Some use Twitter, some use Facebook, others resort to other forms of media. However, in the last year, we have seen an increase in usage of a new app, Yik Yak, an app that allows people to communicate anonymously, has seen a significant rise in the past couple of months, especially among college freshmen. We interviewed several freshmen to determine what Yik Yak is, how it's used, and the negative sides of anonymity in today's digital age. It's like an anonymous app, right? And it's like, it's weird, like it's anonymous and people are sort of like, up. people are sort of like insensitive on it. Like a lot of people are like, make some messed up jokes. But some of them are like funny in like an innocent way, but other ones are like really like racist and sort of like screwed up. People in college areas post on it, um, just like random thoughts that they have and it's anonymous so nobody can like see who's talking about what. Um, I mostly just look at it like before bed because there's just a, a lot of random funny stuff like about squirrels and other things. It's an app where people talk shit. Is that, is that good? Beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just people say random things that they're too afraid to say in person, so they just go hard. Like, it's awesome. Yik Yak is a smartphone app providing a message board updating in real time. Posts are limited to a specific geographical area, for example, the college campus. While popular among college students, Yik Yak is restricted on high school campuses because, in some areas, cyberbullying was such a major issue. In fact, if you're too close to a high school and try and access the app, it will be greeted by a message initiated by the school's firewall, restricting access to any site. Some specific instances, such as the recent on-campus stabbing of Brockport freshman David Medina in his dorm, were negatively reflected upon in the app, causing some students to give up using the app entirely. I just stopped using it, primarily because when the kid got stabbed in our dorm building, like a lot of like racist things were going on, and like I just stopped using it. So, uh, so what kind of they talked about how he got stabbed just because he was black, and like that's kind of like a racist thing to say. And I was just like, nah, because it's easy. So the real question we have to ask after all of this is: anonymity in college a good thing? Could Yik Yak one day find its place? in the mainstream of the freshman consciousness and eventually become a standard of communication for students on campuses throughout the country. Nobody knows these answers, and nor do I, but what we've seen today is that Yik Yak is definitely a presence not to be denied, and will be so for several years to come. For Brockport Television News, I'm Nick Reynolds, reporting live from the SUNY Brockport campus.